for design with no break with Oliver VA Publisher. So the dashboard provides you a quick snapshot view of your current business status. So without needing to opening up a different reports or drill down to another data or types of things, right? So the key here is to how quickly you can get the insight about your business, right? So let's take a look at this uh, dashboard. So this is my dashboard. Uh, this gives me uh, the status of the issues um, of my project I'm working on. So I can see the number of the issues and hot bugs and base uh, power release. And also I can get to know the detailed information about those issues if I'm interested in particularly this data set, um, this area. So uh, this here is a detail for those two issues. Um, if I'm interested in particular status and I can filter that too. And also, like I have um, other information uh, um, from this dashboard page, right? So now here is the challenge. So as long as I have five or six rows in this table, the things are okay. But reality never be that way, right? So usually, um, when you design the dashboard, you have the smaller data set, then once it goes to the production and the data grows, so if the data, or for example, this table returns more than five, six rows, all of a sudden, the size or the height of the table grows, that breaks the dashboard design. So now like it becomes to be much harder for me to get all the information presented by this dashboard page. So now the question is, how can we design the dashboard without having one component or two components breaking the entire dashboard page, right? So here's the answer from the BI publisher. So um, let's take a, uh, let's edit this layout, right? So now you see the chart, the left hand side, and table, and the other components within the same report. So I select the table. And then you notice here is a rows to display. So you have the option from 10 to 200. But I like to make sure that this table is not gonna break the entire layout. So I wanna set uh, the five rows or six rows. So if I go to the properties, and here there's another uh, same option basically, and it rows to display. So I'm gonna type five to set that so that always the, this area is going to be just five rows of the height, right? So what that means is I'm gonna click it and then go back to return and return to the view page. So now I have the five rows. So if I, what if like I got more data for this chart? Still, the size is still the five rows height, but I know how I have more data. So I get the scroll bar so now I can scroll down to see more data, right? And then, like if, for example, like if I wanna uh, see this based on the status or based on the owner, for example, like if I select that just VIP, click OK, and I get the VIP publisher data. Still, the entire whole dashboard page layout never been broken, and I can just scroll uh, up and down to see all the detailed data about each issue. So this is um, how is our answer to address the issue or the challenge, how we can design the dashboard without breaking by each component based on the data. All right, thank you for watching.